Okay, so by the end of this uh, video, you will be able to uh, have a window like this. Uh, this window is uh, made with uh, PyQt and then um, with Qt and Python. So uh, let's plot something. And then each time we click on this button, it's gonna generate some random uh, data and then it's gonna plot it on, the, um, on this, uh, how do you call it again? On the canvas, yes. Okay, so uh, how do we do that? We go to WinPython, Google, best friend. Okay, and then uh, go to Source for SourceForge. Uh, click here, download the E64 version 3.5.1.2 at the moment. Uh, if you have a 64 bit machine and if you have a 32 bit, -bit machine, uh, you can click on this one. So I already did that. Uh, then after you download it uh, under Windows, since it's a Win Python, you just have to go next, 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 and then uh, now install it in uh, any location of your uh, hard disks if you have many. Uh, in my case, I am I am installing it in D in my D Win Python, etc. Okay, so uh, D Win Python. Once it's installed, that's the, uh, uh, the file structure or um, folder structure. So that's what you get inside. And then uh, you will open this uh, spider.exe. So this is your IDE. It's going to take some time to load. And if you have a problem here, then you just have to restart your computer if it doesn't work still. Go to your uh, uh, path environments. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to go to settings, control panel. I'm going to say path, just path, oops, path, and then edit the system environment variables. Uh, click on environment variables. Scroll down until you find the Python, Python home and then make sure that this python home name variable is pointing to uh, your location where you installed win python and then inside win python you have the python 3.5.1 uh, that's it so that's that's the so you that you make sure that you point it to this folder so this is the uh, actual python now we want to we want your windows to use this uh, path to find the python.exe uh, okay this is the first step the next step is to use this uh, python path so the first step the first variable is called python home the second variable variable is python path so python path is gonna point to the same folder but at the end it's lib so it's gonna point to this folder lib okay so make sure you do that restart your computer and then everything is gonna, everything is going to be working just fine if you have another version of uh, python pre-installed it would be even better if you just get rid of it okay so uh, so once that is done we can go back to uh, the place where we installed win python and then we just double click on spider.exe then spiders.exe is going to open and then just dump this you can start with the hello python so you can you can just play with it uh, in my case that's uh, okay so i'm going to clear the console click then click here and then you have okay so you just create a new file and then dump this uh, code i'm going to give i'm going to give you uh, this uh, code and uh, and then just uh, in the description below and then you just click on uh, run file save it wherever you want just and then once you run it it's gonna run uh, pretty fast and then plot 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 and you can pan and uh, you can uh, resize your window since it's based on Qt uh, framework and you can do some cool stuff here and uh, so that's it that's uh, how it works it's that easy of course oh, oh, of course here <laughs> you have to understand how the layout works but uh, this is beyond this video 
uh, so here you are gonna create some uh, signals uh, where is the, uh, okay so this is there is a button and then when you click on this button you're gonna look for the function called plot so here you define a function called plot plot and whenever you click on this f uh, button plot it's gonna call this uh, function it's gonna generate some random and it's gonna plot the data and uh, it's gonna draw it on the canvas that easy and this is the main uh, and this is the main window so all this is just pre-configuration and then uh, so this so this is the loop this is the main loop which is gonna uh, create a window and then show it and then by when you click on the exit it's gonna just e exit the application for more information take a look at the uh, uh, documentation in this uh, PyQt and, uh, and more videos on YouTube okay that concludes this video good luck oh, one more thing just before Close it. Uh, if you have a problem here, let's say it says, "Hey, the kernel." It seems that the kernel died. In, in, in. So don't panic. Just click on click, uh, stop, and then click on this small window, and then restart kernel. Are you sure you want to restart? Yes. And then uh, it's gonna restart the kernel. Now another way to run your code. So I I I, I, uh, I saved my file in this location, and then it's test py. Uh, pyqt.py so I'm gonna show you my location in D this here and then uh, scripts scripts and then I made something called test scripts is it in scripts test no it wasn't here where was it and just take a look here scripts Python Python huh Python Python ah, yes here and then scripts and then I have a uh, and this is my code here. So I'm going to open it just with Notepad. And now it's going to open. Uh, uh, no. It's the same code as you saw earlier here. So I'm not going to bother. Yeah, so it's the same, exactly the same, just with a black background. So how to run this? I'm going to, um, since uh, my Python is not in the path yet, so I'm going to go where my Python.exe is located. So in my case, it's uh, Python, and this is the place where Python is located. So I'm gonna copy this this path. I'm gonna cd to it. I'm gonna change directory to this path, and I'm already here. So I know that Python is here, and I'm gonna make a dir just to make sure uh, it's here. Yeah, okay, clear screen. And then I'm gonna uh, uh, type Python and then the path of my file. So I know that my file is located in scripts and test dot this uh, test p p y q t dot p y. So uh, and then I'm gonna just type. I already did that, so um, that's exactly the same uh, command. So Python and the path to my uh, file dot p y. And I will run it from the console, and it's running just fine again okay that's all folks take care